Hi everyone, it is Koto. Today I will be customizing Claudine Wolf. She is the first Halloween doll of the two that will be a collaboration with a fellow doll customizer, H. Ellicrafts. He also finished his doll. I recommend you to watch his video as well and follow him on Instagram. The links are in the description below. Here you can see how I am removing Claudine's factory hair. To remove her hair I need scissors, a screwdriver and pliers. To remove the factory paint I am using pure acetone and the cotton pad. I am using nylon hair and the routing tool to plug in the new hair wefts. I have these artificial flowers, which I will be using for the horns. I don't have wire, so I detach the wire from the flowers and put it into the ears. I tried to create the base shape by bending the wire to a good position. Before I use my clay to sculpt the ears, I am covering the wire with aluminum foil. So it will be easier to cover it with the clay. I am using epoxy sculpt to create the ears. I can't really use gloves now, so I am working fast with my fingers and I am mixing the parts together. After 
after the clay has dried, I am adding some depth by scratching tiny lines onto the surface. I am covering the hair so it will be protected during the repainting progress. After three layers of spray sealant, I am using watercolor pencils and pastels to create the new face-up. When I am drawing eyebrows, I am always starting with a bit lighter color from what I want to achieve. This time I am starting with a broom piece, but later I will draw black hairs onto the top of it, so I will be able to create a beautiful gradient. I am mixing red and brown pastels to blush the face. To paint the holes I am using acrylic paint. First brown, that I am covering it with black. During the repainting progress, I am adding more and more layers to intensify the colors. I am painting her nails to black. I recommend watching my video about body blushing where I show how you can blush naturally looking bodies and hands. Before I am glossing the eyes, I am adding highlights to it. Catch lights are making so much difference. You already saw the finished doll at the beginning of the video, but here are some photos as well. 
Please write me in the comments below which part was your favorite, also your opinion of my new custom doll. Thank you so much for watching my video. See you at the next one. Bye!